morning students welcome again today we'll discuss about iupsc naming okay in the last class we just started the naming okay so today we'll do iupsc naming for different compounds containing different types of functional groups okay in last class we had done about substituent group Yes or no? So today we will discuss about the naming of different compounds containing different functional group. Okay. So let us first start with halogen functional group. Okay. Generally, we write X. So X may be F C L B R I O. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. Okay. So remember this. Halogen functional group will always have prefix. Okay, meaning the name of this halogen functional group will be written first. Pre. Okay, first existence name is called is for halogen. Okay, so simply we write plus. H A L O hello plus okay. I'll give you an example, then you can easily understand why I'm writing plus here. Okay. Generally halogen. Generally hello for halogen. So fluoro for fluorine, chloro for chlorine, bromo for bromine, iodo for iodine. Okay. Now I'll give you a very simple example, then you can easily understand. CH3. CH2 CH2 CH Okay In this compound Then There will be So first you need to select the longest carbon chain This is the carbon chain You have to follow the same process Now numbering which way 1, 2, 3 So this chlorine group is at third position, if you number from this side, if you number from this end, one, two, three, then this is at which position? Number one position. So this is the correct way of numbering. So since I have already told you, halogen functional group will always be in the prefix. So, so what is the prefix for chlorine? Chloro. Halo plus. So you have to write C H L O R O. Chloro. <coughs> Why I am writing plus here? Because you have to add. So this is chloro P R O P A N E chloropropane. Got it? Okay. So I'm not writing one chloropropane because if you write chloropropane only, we can easily understand this chlorine is at number one position. So for number one position, no need to mention the place or the number. Okay. I'll give another example. Suppose CH3, CH, here CL, here CH3 is there. Okay, so chlorine group is there. So numbering 1, 2, 3, anyway you can number. This is 2 dash CHLOR chloro. <coughs> Group is there, bromine group is there, and 
methyl group is there. Okay. So numbering obviously from which side? If you number from this side, one, two, three, it is getting number three. It is getting number four. It is getting number five. Okay. It is getting three. It is getting four. It is getting five. So sum is three, four, five. Sum is equal to how much? Nine, twelve. Okay. If I number from this side, the sum is twelve. You have to check this also. If I number from this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, then the sum of the position is two plus three plus four. How much? Nine. So this is less as compared to this. Okay, so this is the correct way of numbering. So we will number from right to left. Okay, are you getting? I think you are getting. Now, so this chlorine is at second position. Methyl is at third position. Bromine is at fourth position. So while writing the name for the substituent group, you need to do. Arrange this group alphabetically. Okay, so which one will come first? Obviously, bromine will come first. So four dash bromo. Okay, after that give hyphen. Then what is that? Two chloro. Give hyphen again. Then three methyl. What is this? Number six. So this is hexane. Okay. Very, very, very easy. Okay. Follow the process. It will be very easier for you to understand. Okay. So for different substituent group, you need to arrange substituent group according to their alphabet. Okay, so B comes first, then C, then M. Okay, so try to find other examples and do. So now we'll move on to the compound containing alcohol functionally. Alcohol functional group. So what is the formula? O N. Now this functional group. will be at the suffix suffix meaning after the root ok so the suffix for this will be plus o l I am writing in this way ok plus o l I will give you an example ch3 ch2 o h now this functional group is there. Alcohol, alcohol functional group is attached with this C. Okay, longest chain is this one. Numbering one two. So in the first position there is O H. So first position we need to mention what is this? Methane. Example 
Okay, so the example is CH3, CCH3, CH3, CH2, CH2, after that CH, OH, here CH3. Look at the board. Now, in this compound, substituent groups are also there. Functional group is also there. Now, no, no need to get confused here. First, you need to select the longest chain. Okay. Now, you need to number. Okay, so in this type of case, if the functional group and substituent groups are also, uh, both groups are present, then you need to number from the side from where you get the lowest number for the functional group. Okay, so you need to give the lowest value for functional group. Suppose if I number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this, this is the functional chief functional group. <coughs> <It's>, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Which is getting <coughs> number 5. Now, this is not the correct process. So the correct process is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you need to write them at the prefix. So five comma five. So between the numbers there is comma. So number I have to it. Five comma five. How many groups are there? Two. That is di. Which group is present? Methyl group is present. What is the root name for this? Six. Exam. At the which at which position alcohol group is there? At the second position. Five comma five times it has X and two. I'll give you another example. Take a screenshot of this. Okay, now I'll give you another example. Very simple. CS3. CH2 C here CH3 Now <coughs> if you follow the process you can easily yes, this is the longest carbon chain That and the second person only methyl group is there. So 2 M E T H Y methyl. Two, four. Got it? Okay. Now, quite important. Okay, here you need to remember one thing. So now we'll do the height functional group. Okay. So the formula is C at if one side is attached with H, then this is LDN. Okay, I want to Okay. So suffix will be for LDI. For that, remember the numbering is all. Okay, I'll give you a simple example. First, CH3, CH2. Okay, so if I draw the structure, this is like this. Okay, 
Okay, this is the structure structure of this compound. Now so generally we write since this is in the first parabola. and e propane is the chain so in this propane what is present after removing el you need to add al so this is propanol got it okay let us do another example Look at the bottom. Don't get confused with this. So, see actually there, we need to start the numbering from this. This is the longest chain. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is number 4. At the second position, 2, methyl, what is this? Butanol, methyl, butanol. What is it? Understood? Okay, another example. CH3CH. CH2. CH2. CH. Here let me write CHO. CH2. Okay. Now, if this kind of situation is there, then off the right, I have already told you numbering always start from functional carbon, so this is the functional carbon, so you need to select the longest chain with this carbon, okay? If you select this chain, then this is first 1, 2, 3, 4, this is not the longest as compared to another chain here. This is the longest chain. If you check, this is the longest possible continuous chain. Okay. Got it. So, this is the longest possible continuous chain. So, we will number this. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So, which group is this? This is C2H5. Yes or no? C2H5 is formed from C2H6. That is ethane. After removing one H, it is forming this. So this is ethyl. This is methyl. Which comes first? E or M? Obviously E. So this is 2 ethyl. Then that's 5 methyl. What is the compound name? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is hexane. After removing E, which functional group is there? It is A. So, the name is 2 ethyl 5 methyl hexanol. Got it? Very, very easy. Okay. So, now we will do the naming for ketone. Okay. understand this. Okay. So what is the formula of ketone? C double bond O S. If both the side is connected with another C then this will be ketone. Okay. I have already told you this. C H three C double bond O C S two 
this is the first ketone. Okay? There is no other ketone containing 2C. Okay? So, this is first ketone containing 3C. Okay? This is the first ketone, basic ketone. So, what is the name? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So, for this, the suffix will be plus O-N-E. That is O-N-E. So, this is P-R-O. Okay, so since this is the first ketone, so no need to mention the place, or you can write more panel. Okay, I'll give you another example. Look at the board. CH3, C double bond O. CH2, CH3. Now, you need to select the longest chain first. So, this is the longest chain. Okay. And you need to number this chain. Okay. From the side where we get the lowest value for the functional group. So, if I number from this one, two, three. Three. 